Good morning, dear students. Till now, we have studied about uh, chromosomal structures, its number in various species. Now, today, we will learn something about what are the abnormalities in chromosome structure and number. So, we call it as chromosomal aberrations. So, what is chromosomal aberration? The deviations from the standard chromosome number and morphology of a species are referred to as chromosomal aberrations or abnormalities. Two broad categories of chromosomal aberrations are recognized, which are numerical aberrations and structural aberrations. So first of all, we will learn something about what are the variations in chromosome number. Can changes in the number of chromosomes are of two types. One is euploid, euploidy and another is aneuploidy. What is euploidy? This is normal variation of the number of complete set of chromosomes. It means it will involve a complete set, means whole set of homologous chromosome. It contains haploid, diploid, triploid, tetraploid, etc. Now this is and, and now we will discuss about aneuploidy. What it is? Aneuploidy is variation in the number of particular chromosomes within a set means within a homologous pair whether some chromosome will uh, one of the chromosome will be missing or some additional chromosome will be there so here we can see these are these are the details of chromosome number changes in euploidy you can appreciate a monoploid diploid triploid tetraploid and polyploid in aneuploid there are monosomy which is 2n minus 1 that is one chromosome from a homologous pair is missing of a set then nullisomy this is 2n minus 2 it means a complete set of homologous pair is missing from a diploid organism third is trisomy trisomy means one additional chromosome is present then tetrasomy in a diploid organism one additional set of chromosome is present so some other conditions are also there likewise if that formula is 2n minus 1 minus 1 what we call it what we call this situation this is double monosomy what it is this is double monosomy got it likewise if the formula is 2n minus 2 minus 2 then what we will call it as it will be a double nullisomy same in trisomy we can write 2n plus 1 then plus 1 this is double trisomy and fourth one is tetrasomy. Likewise, in tetrasomy also, if the formula is 2n plus 2 plus 2, we will call it as double tetrasomy. Now we will see what are the changes in the structure of chromosome. First is deficiency or deletion. This is of terminal deficiency and intercalary or interstitial deficiency. Second one is duplication. Some, chromo some sequence of genes will be duplicated. This is of tandem, reverse and displaced type of duplications are there. The third one is inversion, paracentric and pericentric. And fourth one is translocation. This is of th three types, simple translocation, reciprocal translocation and Robertsonian translocation. So what are the reasons for, to, what are the reasons for this aneuploid conditions? Here we can see in this figure, first division, non-disjunction due to that, homologous pair goes into one cell and other cell is empty. So when the normal disjunction occurs in these cells, then we will have this kind of abnormal gametes. When these abnormal gametes fused with this haploid gamete, then this trisomic and monosomic conditions will appear. Same in that figure, that normal disjunction is there in initial stages, but when in second division, 
in one cell that normal disjunction is not there that is non disjunction is there then we will have these abnormal gametes in after second uh, division and when these gametes will fuse will other gamete this haploid gamete then we will have those two abnormal conditions so these are the aneuploid condition in humans trisomy of 21st chromosome trisomy of 18 chromosome we will call it as edwards syndrome and trisomy of 13 chromosome we will call it we will call it as petus syndrome these are the sexual chromosomal uh, trisomies xxy will lead to klinefelter syndrome then these are the other syndromes you can see so first then we will discuss about variation in chromosome structure amount of genetic information in this chromosome can change so due to deletion and duplication the total amount of genetic information that is genetic material will change first is deficiency or deletions second is duplications in inversions and translocations the genetic material will remain the same but their arrangement will be changed that is they will be rearranged so in this slide we can see deficiency the deletion a chromosomal deficiency occurs when a chromosome breaks and a fragment is lost these are two types first is terminal deficiency that is the terminal portion of a chromosome will break and that will be lost so here in this figure we can see in this pic we can see the arrangement of chromosome then with single break between 2 and 3 number the portion 3 or containing 3 or 4 number will be lost so it will lead to a new arrangement with the lost segment of chromosome this is terminal deficiency because the terminal portion is involved in that figure we can see that break has occurred in between or in interstitial position so in this type of the deletion two breaks will be there so here we can see one break has occurred between 1 and 2 and other break is has a, other break has occurred between 3 and 4 so the portion having two or three number will be lost so this is called as interstitial deficiency or interstitial deletion so in this figure we can see deletion is due to breakage of a piece of chromosome is lost here we can see that this pink portion will be deleted that uh, that portion means genetic material will be lost now the phenotypic consequence of deficiency depends on size of the deletion means how much amount how much portion is deleted and the genes present on that portion the function of those genes deleted will be affected then phenotypic of deletion usually det detrimental then we will come to duplications a chromosomal duplication is usually caused by abnormal event events uh, during recombination the first one is tandem duplication is the one in which the duplicated segment is incorporated in the same order adjacent to the original location of the segment so here we can see the this is a, a chromosomal chromatid i have tried to depict this uh, situation by using these a b c d letters so here we can see that a b is duplicated and is placed just adjacent in same order as a b on the same chromatid so this type of duplication is called as tandem duplication so another one is reverse tandem duplication in this type of duplication the segment duplicated segment is incorporated adjacent to the original sequence but that the order will be reverse so here we can appreciate this ab portion is duplicated but their order is reverse that is ba this is reverse tandem duplication now third one is displaced duplication it occurs when a, when a repeated sequence is inserted into other part or arm of the original chromosome so here we can see this is a this is a chromosome big pictorial diagram of a chromosome then we can see that this ab portion is duplicated but it is inserted some other place that is not adjacent to that uh, original sequence 
of AB. So this is displaced duplication. So now we'll discuss about inversion. What it is? Inversion is a segment of chromosome that is flipped relatively to that in the homologue. That is a segment will be rearranged on 180 degrees. So here we can this is of two type pericentric and paracentric. Pericentric means it will involve the rearrangement will involve centromere. So the centromere will lies within the inverted region and in paracentric the centromere will, will not be involved. So here we can see this is a chromosome having a sequence of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. This is, this is a normal condition but in pericentric inversion we can see this D, E, F, G portion has been reverted. So in new chromosome it will be like A, B, C, G, F, E, D, H, I. As it has involved centromere so it will call as pericentric inversion. But in this figure we can see that inversion has involved B, C, D, E. So the, the order is reversed that is one, it has tilted 180 degrees. So the new sequence will be A, E, D, C, B and the other segment will be same. This is paracentric inversion. So in inversion no genetic material will be lost. So the genetic information will be intact but the arrangement of genes will be different. So the gene is resp uh, repo uh, repositioned in a way that alters its gene expression. So here we can see this is a chromosome. This portion having pink and uh, green color will it is inverted. Two breaks have occurred here and that portion between two breaks has been inverted to 180 degrees. So that reinserted piece of DNA we can see that is with green above and pink below. So this is inversion. Here we can see pericentric inversion in one more figure. So the chromosome having sequence A, B, C, D, how it occurs, a loop will be formed, then that break will be here, gaps will be created, then rejoining will be there, then new inver uh, inverted sequence we will get. The, we can appreciate here the A, B, C, D, E, F, G sequence has been inverted to A, B, E, F, D, C, G, H sequence. So now we'll see about translocations. This is simple, trans, this is of three types, simple, reciprocal and Robertsonian translocation. This is a exchange, this is a process in which exchange of genetic material occurs between non-homologous chromosomes. So in simple translocation, when a segment of one chromosome become attached to another chromosome, that is the transfer of genetic material occurs in one direction only. That is in a, in a, in a chromosome, single break will be there that that break uh, chromated will be will get attached to some other non homologous chromosome so as it is in one direction so these are called as unbalanced translocations in reciprocal translocation two non homologous chromosomes exchange genetic material usually genetic uh, they will generate so called balanced translocations as they will exchange their materials. Third one is Robertsonian translocation, most frequently occurring chromosomal rearrangement in cattle, sheep, goat and wild pigs. In cattle it was first discovered in red and white breed in Sweden in 1964. So what it is? In cattle it involves fusion of two acrocentric first and 29th of uh, first and 29th chromosome. They are acrocentric. After fusion they will they will become a large submetacentric chromosome. This is Robertsonian translocation. It involves first and 29th chromosome which are acrocentric in shape. So here we can see one is white chromosome other is black. So you can appreciate these uh, exchanged material in figure A and B. So this is before translocation that is after translocation. Thank you students.